group of three or more orcas is called a pod. And most people know that a pod is also what we call a group of dolphins, often seen in the bow wake of a Nordhaven. But did you know a group of sea turtles is called a flotilla? Iguanas are a slaughter. Often seen as dock slaughters near Nordhavens. They can be a dinghy slaughter or a stowaway slaughter. Swimming slaughters and tree slaughters are not uncommon. Hey, did you know a group of jellyfish is referred to as a smack? And a squadron is what pelicans are known as. Wow, here's a dock squadron. Don't forget a tree squadron too. Manatees, or as some like to call them sea potatoes, are known as an aggregation. Double rays, or as some say majestic sea flat flaps, are known as a fever. Dock cats are a clouder. Here is part of a pounce contemplating attacking a squadron. And brown-footed boobies make up a congress. But have you ever wondered what a group of three or more Nordhavens is called? A group of Nordhavens is called a noodle. Nordhavens often congregate and tend to be drawn toward one another. Chances are you've seen or been part of a noodle. A noodle can consist of new Nordhavens or Nordhavens that have traveled tens of thousands of nautical miles. Noodles can be made up 35 footers up to 120 foot. All types and sizes of Nordhavens mix well. Noodles might include paravanes, masts, bulbous bows, or a flybridge. Noodles can be tied up to a dock or anchored out, or a combination of both. Every noodle is different. Then there are the people in the noodle. When there are three or more Nordhaven owners, you have a noggle. A noggle is made up of people in the noodles. They can be veteran 25-year cruisers or rookie newbies just joining the noodle. People in noggles can have a clouder or no pets at all. Those in noggles might have young kids, grown kids, or no kids. You know what? It doesn't matter. If someone owns a Nordhaven, they can be part of a noggle. Owners within a noggle are very supportive of each other with helpful tips and advice that is often found on the nog. Here are some noggle members that have participated in noodles and noggles. All right, we are the Shanafelts from MV Noeta N5020. I'm Alexa. I'm Pat. I'm Jack. I'm Haley, and this is Gilligan. <laughs> what do we love about Nordhaven? The safety, the security, the reliability, the ease of maintenance, and the community. Oh. I love Welcome to Red Rover, Nordhaven 55. Um, it's a long, long dream to own this boat, and uh, we love really everything about it, I think. And um, I can't think of anything I don't love about it. Uh, but we love how safe, well I love how safe it is and how, whether we're in inland waters or out in the ocean, it just, um, she just finds her groove. This is just a, an amazing boat. What do you love? Well, what do I love about <laughs> it? Well, I love that Red has a personality of her own. She, and, uh, she does. She's uh, a character. She's in a good way, obviously. We, uh, we love her to death. But, uh, okay. We're coming from SV Adamarie, formerly MV Cassidy. Who are you? Cassidy. <laughs> but yeah, great boats. Um, through having two very different boats, a 40-foot trawler and a 56-foot motor sailor, I can say I've got full confidence in both boats, actually, that we can take them anywhere in the world. That's what we like best about Nordhavens, right? Yeah. Going around the world. Yeah. Okay, we're the Palmer's Mermaid Monster, Rose, Penn, Rooney, and Brayden. I think um, sitting up on the flybridge on a perfect night. Sunsets. Because after all the craziness, there's because, always a good sunset. throwing toys in the water. I really 
enjoyed our Alaska experience. We spent nine months, eight or nine months in Alaska. Um, then we crossed the Bay of Alaska this spring and ended up in Kenai Fjords, which is one of the most magnificent places I've been in my life and nobody else is there. Yeah. And I'm really liking Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I love the beaches, I love the warm, clear water, and I love the sun. What is your favorite spot? Boston, Boston New York City, New York City. Harbor Island, the Bahamas. Harbor Island, Bahamas. Yeah, that's my favorite place. Bahamas. What was your favorite place? You just told me a minute ago. Want to point to it? Flamenco Marina in Panama. Flamenco Marina in Panama. Lots of kids there, so Cass loved it. It was a quick trip from, it was really just more like a delivery mission, right? Is that what you call it? From Florida to Ensenada. But my favorite stop along the way was Zihuatanejo. That's what I imagine doing on my doing on my Norcabin. Anchored off a beach, going into the beach, swimming off the back deck. But uh, Southeast Alaska is um, is the most beautiful place I have ever seen, and, and um, it was hard to believe looking out the window or sitting on the bow, surrounded by icebergs, that um, that we were really there, and um, that there was no one else around, just just us. And um, on Zoe, our black. Black Lab and uh, Life Spark at Wales, uh, just us in the beautiful, beautiful environment that uh, very few people get to see. But in, in the location, but you know what it's taken us to is, is places that we could never reach otherwise. The uh, uh, allowing us to see uh, landscape, the mountains, the rocks, and really the wildlife uh, that very difficult to see. Um, otherwise, certainly not from a car. Not from a no. car. I wouldn't want another boat to cruise around in. No. So. Okay, where's your favorite place to be? Haley? Uh, I loved New York. Jack? My favorite place, if I had to pick, would probably be La Cruz. La Cruz de Wanacaxle was pretty awesome. Uh, I loved cruising the San Juan Islands. I love being anywhere on my Nordhaven. Oftentimes, one will see a Wananoggle. This occurs when someone is invited aboard to join a noggle, even though they don't have a Nordhaven to bring to the noodle. Wana noggles often include noggle wannabes and noodle appreciators. These are people who want a Nordhaven. They might drive their dinghy in circles around Nordhavens or pace the dock until they get invited aboard. Chances are, most of us currently in a noggle or a noodle were at one point in a Wana noggle. I love the people that come with the Nordavans. Um, with every noggle we're in and every noodle we uh, take part in, we've made great friends and they've been accepting us back since we were in a Wana noggle 10 years ago. So in closing, this is a Nordhaven. So is this, and this, and even this. This is a drawing of a Nordhaven and a drawing of a big Nordhaven. Most Nordhavens are found in the water, but this one is on land, and this one is going on a ship. When there is a group of three or more Nordhavens, it's called a noodle. Here's a cruising noodle, a cold noodle, and a dock noodle at a rendezvous. There were 33 Nordhavens in this noodle. That's a lot. When there is a noodle, there's often a noggle. A group of Nordhaven owners is a noggle. Noggles can be in Mexico, Puget Sound, and smiling. A wanna noggle is when three or more people are together who admire or want a Nordhaven. They sit around and talk about noodles and noggles and Nordhavens. And cut. Go Shannon Fouts! Go Shannon Fouts! <laughs>